It's Queen DJ, and in today's video, I will be reacting during to episode 16 of Fruits Basket. So let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. I have the woman for the male. Wait, is that what's her face? It is. Yeah, that, that's Oom. No, 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 wait. Is it who? who is that? No, that can't be Oom. That is Uo, isn't it? That's gotta be her. Cause the blonde hair and everything. Come on now. I mean, I'm happy we're finally like. Okay, hold on. Is this gonna focus on both Hana and Uo, or just Uo? Because I mean, I need Hana Jima in this episode too. Come on. Let me focus on both my other girls because I love it too much. My goth and my biker gang girl. I need them together. This is it. I've been wanting an episode to feature them as well because it's been like. How long since we've had an episode focus on you? They were like forever. Mm. Yeah, that's definitely her. Look at the dang hair. <laughs> no, it's okay. Your hair looks good like that. <laughs> That's Toru.
Yeah. Do you want them to come with? <laughs> come on, it'll be fun. Exactly. Uh, of course you do, Shigari. We all know you do. <laughs> Yay! Well, she needs one. Yeah. Well, yeah, because, you know, you got a body type. <laughs> well, would you rather go to a lingerie store? Yeah, what color looks good on her? Makes sense. Yeah. Are we finally going to see that? Because I don't, yeah, because in the original, they didn't show it. Some from the past makes sense. Nice hair, Bill. It's such pretty boys. <laughs> Oh, 
Hannah, what the hell did you do? Or, no, what didn't you do? <laughs> Your hair was shorter too. Even with her short hair, she's so pretty. Mm. And the best badass of all badass. No, <laughs> she's a complete and total airhead. <laughs> oh. Speaking of which, here she is. Oh. Or Honda. <laughs> oh, I bubbly airhead. I love her so damn much. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but she's special though in every single way <laughs> friendly uh, what the, yes that too Huh? 
No. Yep, that's how it started. No! Hey, but she could still kick your ass, probably. Yeah, I got her mask. Because you like being with them, silly. You would never think someone with a smile like hers would be would have such a tragic past like this. But then it makes me want to know anything about like Hana as well.
mean damn girl. You just need to know that this ain't the life for you. That you like being with them. No! You serious? I thought it was. I wasn't paying attention to the freaking time. I knew we were at like the twenty something mark, but I thought it would have been longer. It was a good episode, though. Like I was not. I, I mean, like when it showed her with the short hair, I just because of the fact is it was dark and I couldn't really recognize who the f it was. I honestly thought it was somebody in the Soma family. But to finally, like I said. Focus on my two girls. Like, yes, it was everything. Well, a little bit of Hana, like, teeny tiny bit, but it was more of a focus on Uo. And I just love both of them. They're, I've always loved both of these two. And, like, oh, the relationship that they have with Toru. And finally getting to see her backstory because I don't think the original ever really went into as much um, detail as this one is, of course, because, like, from what I remember, I think. She just really told certain things, but they never really went more into the past because of the fact that it was time consuming. And they're like, okay, we only have a certain stretch amount of episodes, 26 episodes. We can't do everything, of course. But to do something on her and to go into her past, like her past is as tragic as any of the Somas. So honestly, like I wasn't expecting it, but then at the same time, like it didn't make me cry, but it just like it, it, inside my heart is aching for her, and I love her so much. And same thing with Hana, but I, I need my Hana episode, damn it. Just a little, like, kind of tone that it's down. Hmm? True. It's going to be a Soma. <laughs> yes, my son. <laughs> that was perfect. I mean, honestly, I'm glad that they're doing a two-parter episode because the way they ended, like, the episode before the credits, I'm like, hold up now. You already know there's gonna be a two-day parter, so what I'm hoping um, could happen next week is we delve more back into Uo's past, and I feel like there's a moment where the girl who saw um, Kyoko-chan plus Toru and then Uo walking away. So since she now knows that that is her, of course, I feel like the other gang members in the group are also going to probably gang up either on Toru or find a moment where um, Toru's mom is at a defensive point where she is just her and they're probably going to kick her butt. I'm, I'm hoping it doesn't come towards that, but I feel like it is going to happen in a way. Hold on, mama. Mama's done. Um... But it could go literally any way with this next few weeks, and especially with next week. And I'm just hoping that if it does, I think this will be the moment where Uo is finally going to not only stick up for herself, but stick up for Toru. And like, and that's where the relationship is going to bond and continue until eventually we meet best girl Hana. And hopefully when she gets her story, because I, I really want to know what the heck happened to her while she was in middle school. Why in the... Well, because it had to be her dang waves and ish, so... You know, that could have been the reason why she had to leave school and transfer to another one. But, I mean, I, I want to see it, though. It would make sense to me to just, because they've shown 
Uo's past, at least give me something with Hana because I feel like I don't want to watch. I don't want to get to like episode sixty three of this show and say between Hana and Uo, Uo got more development than Hana. I want to get to the end of the series and say both girls got developed very nicely and well done, except other shows that I've seen. <clears throat> Pretty care to talk about that. Um, and I just don't want like someone to be more important than the other because they're both equally important to Toru, so they both deserve to get an equal amount of development, but we ain't gonna really know until next week, so, I mean, of course, Uo is gonna kick some ass, because it's fucking Uo, and I love her to death, but other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards episode 16 of Fruits Basket, if you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like, it really helps me out, also, subscribe to my channel, I make videos every single day, join the Master Squad, and of course, I will see you guys officially all next Friday for episode 17, bye guys!